Oh, what? Have you guys ever played on this right here? I think I want to try to do some stuff on it. Just some, some weird stuff. What I want to do is try to get my front or my back truck like right down the center right there and then try to pop out. I'm going to try to do it so you know what I'm talking about. If you don't have any clue what I'm talking about, I'm going to try it. Like I'm thinking maybe try to do like a feeble or something. I just want to get my trucks down the center. Just want to show you guys what I mean. I think it's going to look pretty cool. Or it doesn't have to be a feeble. I could do a Smith on the other side like that. Yes, just like that. But I want to come out of it and I want it to look better than that. That's pretty cool. Okay, Smith. Nice. And then pop out. I want to try to tweak it down there further though, just to see how low I can get my wheels. I'm going to try it. I don't know how well it's going to work. I really want to get down there. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get down there any further than what I already have been. I believe that's as far as I can go. So I want to try to do a tail slide on it. <laughs> that last little thing just gave me an idea for a tail slide and not a tail slide right there, of course. Yeah, like that. That's really awesome. It went from a tail to a lip. So I promise you guys, I'm not going to be playing on this the whole video. I'm just trying out different things. I think now I want to try to do a hurricane and then I guess we can move on. And there's the hurricane. Okay. Yeah, there's the hurricane. Okay. So let's move on to something else. I have a challenge here from FERC. It's at Varric16. It says, Hey, Toasty Ghost. I was chilling with a couple buddies when we thought of this creative skate line. I challenge you to do as I did in the video. Good luck. And he sent a clip, so let's check it out. It'd be easier to tell exactly what you did if you didn't record on a potato. <laughs> Relax. I I'm just kidding. You can send the clips however you want. I'm, I'm joking. So it seems pretty simple for the most part, but the main thing I'm interested in is this rail. <laughs> Something about that clip just makes me really want to skate that rail. And I guess I'll put up some ramps over here too. That way I can actually do exactly what he did. I think he did a, um, I think he did a tail slide, kick flip out. And then he did, uh, I think it was a kick flip backside 360 over this. I had to take a look at the clip again, but I do believe that's what he did. So I think he got to run and start right there. And then he pops into a backside tail slide. And then, well, I tried to do a kick flip out, but whatever. And then he cleared over this. Okay. Seems simple enough. Now, hopefully I can get it. Okay. Come on. Tail slide and then kick flip out. Nice. And then a backside 360 kick flip. There you go. <laughs> seems simple enough. Okay, so let's try to make this a little bit more difficult. Let's try to tail slide the rail from that ramp I just launched off of, this one right here. We're going to try to tail slide all the way back to this ramp. And then, I guess, another 360 kickflip. I don't know. <laughs> but we are going to need speed for that, so... I don't know. I have to set up something. And it should be simple, hopefully, maybe. So I think I'll set up a quarter pipe... I guess right about here. That way I can drop into it and hopefully get some more speed. Why is it doing that? Okay, we'll just place it right there and I'll move it manually. Whatever. It wouldn't let me place it where I wanted to. So let's try to pop into it like this. And I think that will give us quite a bit of speed. And now we just need to do a tail slide and hopefully make it into that other ramp. Come on. Come on. Tail slide all the way to the end. And it looks like it's not going to be enough speed. So I got to find out another way to do this. All right. How about the slide? And then we can gap to it from back here, I guess. I don't know. I'll, f I'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. So maybe if I put the slide like that, it will work. I really don't know. I'm going to try to gap all the way to it. Okay. 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 <laughs> I did kick flip into it and that was not a backside 360 hill or kick flip, but there you go. <laughs> I 
And I think that's going to do it for this challenge. Like I said, all I want to do was slide on the rail from there to here. And I accomplished that. So I'm going to move on. Our next challenge comes from Thok Peterson. Or is it Thok Peterson? Thoki Peter? I, I have no idea. It doesn't matter. Hey, Toasty. Could you try tricking this line more up? <laughs> I can only seem to get a 180. Tricking this line more up. Sure. Let's see what he's got. So I have seen a lot of clips like that from a lot of different people, not really like challenges towards me, but just like skate clips on YouTube. I've seen that done before, but I've never done it myself. So I don't know how difficult it is. And I don't know how much I'm going to be able to trick that more up. So I guess he started right here and then he popped into like a dark catch, but it's not working out for me. So maybe I'm doing it wrong. How, how do you do it? <laughs> So I don't know what to do here. Oh, oh, okay. I guess you just got to get lucky. I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it works. And I really don't know what I can do to add anything extra to that. Maybe just instead of a 180, do a 360 or a 540. I don't know. Hey, at least I'm almost getting down there. So is there a secret to this? Let me know in the comments below because I have no idea. <laughs> Up, 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 Ah, whatever, dude. <laughs> I tried to pop out and it didn't let me do it. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, that'd be so cool if I can. What am I doing? Ah, uh, <laughs> so many thoughts running through my head. As soon as he started going sideways, I was like, oh man, that is pretty sick. Uh, I need to try that though. I need to try to go down sideways, but I'm not going to do that right now. I just want to try to make it to the bottom. I'm not going to lie. This is pretty difficult. Props to anybody who can just do this on the regular. <sighs> Why didn't he flip out? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Did you see that? I think I just straight punched that dude in the back and sent that dude fly. <laughs> Get out of my way, son. Okay, there you go. I got a 360. I guess it's better than a 180, but it's still really sketchy. So our last challenge is at the art gallery, and I'm just going to show you real quick how to get to it and what it is. Now, somebody had requested this a little while ago. They didn't send a clip or anything. They just left a comment on one of my old videos. And since it is an old video, I really can't remember who it is. I just remember what they asked for. So we just did the manual pad glitch and we're going to hop over the fence. And what you want to do is go all the way to the top of this street. And then once you get to the top, there is a double set right here. <laughs> and what you want to do is just clear from the top all the way to flat so yeah this is a double set this is a classic double set from skate one if you guys have played skate one yeah this is a classic and what makes this even more difficult is you can't hop on the sidewalk and do it you have to pop before you get to the sidewalk so you gotta gap over the sidewalk and then the double set and make it all the way to flat but the problem is there is no run up i'm going to set my marker right here just to show you guys what i'm talking about but once you try to walk into this grass right here it just it doesn't let you do it it just spawns you back to the street so this is where it gets difficult <laughs> we're going to have to find a way to get speed to clear that stair set and we can't even walk in the grass so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just skate to the top of this i'm going to show you guys where i'm at just in case you're curious and you've never been to this part of the art gallery but yeah, I'm right here. Well, that sucks. I got to get back up there. And we are back. So the idea is, first, we got to get to the top of this huge building. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean. So let's go into free camera. I'm just going to show you how tall the building is. But we got to make it all the way up there using the manual pad glitch and some containers. Then I'm going to stack up some manual pads as high as I can go. And that's going to be as high as I'm able to go. Then I'm going to go to the top, just like that. The manual pad glitch. I'm going to set my marker right here, jump back down, and then I'm going to replace these manual pads with containers. So delete the manual pads and then get this container. It doesn't have to be the blue one. It can be the orange one and just stack two of them up. There you go. Then we're going to spawn back to the top of it. We're going to place our marker. 
and then what you want to do is place them really close to this wall because if you notice you can't go into the object dropper right here because you're too far off the ground but if you get close to this wall for some reason it lets you use the object dropper so and then you want to stack up some more manual pads do another manual pad glitch and then replace those manual pads with containers and we're going to make it all the way to the top that way and we've almost made it to the top i just got to finish this up and there you go we finally made it to the top and i guess i'll go into the replay editor just to show you guys how many containers it actually takes so if you look out here what is that one two three four five six seven eight eight containers and four manual pads just to make it up to the top of this but we made it and down there right where the grass starts i'm going to put a speed ramp if you guys are familiar with my speed ramps i'm sure most of you are but i'm going to set up a ramp up here first and it's not really going to be a speed ramp it's just mainly going to be a manual pad with a slide stacked on top of it so just like that and that should help us gain some speed and okay i think this is going to work now we just need to set up the speed ramp down here and we should be good to go and then we just got to be able to gap into it just going to build the speed ramp real quick you're just going to get a large deck quarter pipe and place it like right here yeah okay that works and then we're going to take a medium wedge ramp and we're going to place it somewhere close to it like that and then you're going to want to take a slide and try to balance it on top of the ramps you want to have it at a good angle that way you can actually go into it and be able to ride away with it even though it still is difficult to ride away with every time i build this thing it's so difficult to actually land into and ride away with but it should look something like that and then you want to place it all to your marker just in case something happens and this is the way it looks and you'll also want to place your starting ramp to your marker as well just in case anything happens now let's try this am i going to be able to land into this almost <laughs> we're almost there and i'm going to, have to pop extremely quick so i don't think i'm going to be able to do like any specific tricks all i want to do is just ollie down it that is the main goal so I have made a couple of adjustments, just trying to make this line up better. And I think, okay, there we go. <laughs> I think I can make this work now. So I have made a couple more of adjustments. As you can tell, I made the speed ramp at the top just so I can get more speed. Now, hopefully I can make this work. I just need to land into that stupid ramp. And I'm going to have to be ready to pop like as soon as I roll away, just to make it over that sidewalk yes <laughs> as soon as i said i had to be ready to pop okay i got it now i just gotta go back and look at the replay So I'm not going to lie, that took a really long time to do and mainly just landing into the ramp was the biggest problem, but I'm just glad I got it. I can add another gap to my list of already been done. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so you actually get notified when I upload. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.